everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about uh, retro gaming. Um, this is a vintage Carrier Strike game by Milton Bradley from 1977 or 1978, I can't remember which. Um, I had this when I was little, and um, I subsequently lost it or played with all the parts and you know it went everywhere so I ordered myself a, a copy on eBay a couple years ago and wanted to share uh, this with you this was one of the gateways for me into miniature gaming and uh, it, it had a very uh, fond place in my heart I remember the year I can't remember which year it was but this game came out right around the same time that the Midway, the 1970s Midway movie, came out with Charlton Heston. And I remember wanting this for Christmas that year and getting it. So basically it is um, a carrier, carrier battle. So you can see the, this box is rather worn. You really can't find mint copies, or at least I've never seen them. Ages 8 to adults. I have played this with all of my kids at one point or another since we've picked it up again uh, with uh, varying degrees of enthusiasm, I should say. So, um, what's in the box? Well, you get all kinds of cool stuff. You get a rather decent size gaming mat. Back then, it's all about branding, so your ocean mat has a nice picture of a uh, aircraft carrier here. This is a, looks like an Essex class aircraft carrier, which did not participate in Midway, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> I don't mean to nitpick this game, and I'm not going to do that for the whole thing. All right, so in the box, um, you have two sides, the yellow side and the red side. So no American or Japanese, if you will. Um, and each one has a carrier and five airplanes. I'm just going to show you one. Let's grab this red guy and get him on the table. And we'll show you how, how cool this is. So, yeah, sorry, with uh, uh, four planes. So, the cool thing about this is that they are, um, they kind of just slide off the carrier like that. Every, um, plane has kind of a random skill level underneath it and um, that's used when you dogfight um, the higher quality I think it's two through four the higher quality uh, increases your chances of winning plus you can give each airplane a uh, torpedo and this is a torpedo marker um, so that uh, you know now this plane is carrying a torpedo uh, if you dogfight, you got to drop the torpedo. There's very basic rules, but they all are, um, <laughs> you know, na based in naval wargaming. Um, the cool thing is, when you move, um, there's a lot of randomness to the, the game. When you move, you, you roll a die, and that's how many moves you get. Um, moves are like hexes, but it's also movement on the deck of the aircraft carrier. So getting this guy to launch would be one, and then he could he could launch. This guy would need to move up. So you actually have to move your your planes up and launch them. Uh, oops, sorry, I knocked the whole table there. Um, these funny things you see here, I haven't messed with them because that's originally how you marked the, the planes in the game. Um, the carrier model itself is pretty cool. I mean, it's supposed to be, I guess, we're we're modeling an Essex class for everybody. Both sides are, are the same. It's the same model. Some fun little details, but really just uh, you know, just the suggestion of an aircraft carrier, which is cool. You also get um, you know range markers, and it's kind of cool when the you know when the the ship when the plane drops the torpedo. Basically, you slide it there and it just slowly moves towards its target. Um, so a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun to be had with this game. Um, 
I like it a lot. Um, it's not, uh, again, it's not historically accurate. Everything is kind of generic in the box, so you don't have your kids having, you know, someone has to play the bad guys or the perceived, um, you know, villains of the piece. Everyone can, you know, you're just yellow or you're green, or sorry, yellow or red. Um, but it's a fun game. Um, so I really uh, like this game. It was, again, one of the gateways for miniature gaming. You know, I, I was pretty young. I, I don't know how many times I played this when I was little, but these miniatures and stuff lasted in my toy box for years and years and years. And uh, I always thought it was pretty cool. So that's kind of a look at uh, this game, Carrier Strike. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little walk down memory lane. Uh, I know I did. Let me know in the comments down below, did you guys ever play this game? Um, I know that there is, and I actually have it in my garage, um, a spiritual successor to this game that Milton Bradley or some other company produced that has Nimitz class aircraft carriers and F-14 Tomcats. And it uses some of the same mechanics, um, like, you know, pilot uh, skill for each one of these guys. Um, but um, that was a much later, uh, I think early 2000s or, or so, uh, game. But pretty cool. So there you go, guys. That's a look at the 1977 Milton Bradley game, Carrier Strike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please do give us a like and subscribe. Click that bell so you receive notification when we publish new content. Um, also check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. As always, though, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.